have the laptop on a shelving card or a table as you see here, anything you can roll around easily. Now you're going to be trailing a lot of cord behind you most likely, so keep that in mind. If there's going to be foot traffic in the library, do whatever you need to uh, make sure that nobody trips over it. You might want to put some warning signs if you can borrow those from your custodian. Now the scanner simply plugs right into the laptop as Julio is going to demonstrate. The scanners are all plug and play, so you don't need to do anything. Once you plug it in, you're ready to go. You'll be using workflows. You're going to use the circulation toolbar that you always use to check out books, but in special circulation functions, you want to look for inventory item, which is right at the bottom there, as you can see in this dazzling close-up. This is all in the circulation toolbar. Once you've uh, activated that wizard, you're ready to start scanning books. When you start doing inventory, it's preferred, preferably to work in partners of two for the reason that whenever errors pop up, one person can be looking at the laptop and on the screen, they can go ahead and, and usually find the errors faster, and it's easier for the person that's scanning to go through the collection much quicker. Uh, first, uh, you have to loosen up the book, that space, and uh, you do just take out the book and scan it from down to up, and then pick it up, put it, put it back in, and then pull up, pull up the other one out, and then just like that, for all the books. And the person, that. And I will be looking at the inventory as it pops up over here. We'll be looking at the screen. As you can see right there, we already have an uh, we already have a pop up and alert message, and on it it says it's a route transit to Pecan. You're up to see various kinds of errors. If you're watching the screen carefully. 1 in 100 or 1 in 500 books might bring a pop-up window that asks you to put the item in transit or tells you that the item is not in the catalog. You'll get separate instructions on how to deal with each one of those cases, but do keep in mind it's important to do what Jose is doing right now. While Julio scans, Jose is watching the screen closely for those pop-ups. Go back to the other part, the one that you just scanned. They are right there. Right, right here, we have one that's in transit. What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and turn it in. So we can go to discharge, check in. And when you do find an exceptional item, it's important to flag it, take it off the shelf, mark it, make sure to deal with it properly. If you have to go to workflows and look up the item status or to discover that it might have been requested by another library, take the time to do that. That's one of the reasons for doing inventory. Is so insofar as it's possible, we can account for everything that's on the shelf. One of the most common things that happens uh, when you get the alert message are going to be items that are in transit. Uh, those can be easily dealt with. Uh, all you have to do is go into the chicken and discharge function and turn them in at, at the library. And then you can go ahead and put those in inventory and they will be back listed uh, on your shelves. As for other items, then you might want to contact technical services uh, on items that appear as missing or not in catalog. There's one other exception that you might run into, and these are books that some of you have in your libraries that are that don't have a proper barcode tag. You, you might have seen, you might see this sticker on some of the books. As you see, it, it has numbers, 
but it doesn't have a barcode. And what, what do you all do with those? Whenever you have an item like that, what you have to do, you have to go ahead and input the phone number manually, 24434, and go ahead and include the dash as well. One, zero, zero, one. Go ahead and press enter, and it'll it'll appear in your inventory. It, once you get it, once you get the hang of doing inventory, this is actually the way it's supposed to go. Well, well, thanks a lot, you guys, and uh, everybody, please have fun. That's the most important thing. Oh, he's going to leave it. <laughs> I'm going to edit the hell out of it. So, no, that was great, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs>